Love is Blind stars Danielle Ruhl and Nick Thompson are calling it quits. Danielle filed for divorce from Nick in Cook County Circuit Court in Illinois this past Monday. Court records obtained by Access Hollywood show. Both she and Nick have yet to speak out regarding the filing, and Access Hollywood has reached out to a rep for the reality stars for comment. Nick and Danielle met in the pods on season two of Love is Blind and got engaged before ever having set eyes on each other. They were one of two couples who tied the knot in the season two finale, which was filmed last summer and aired on Netflix this February. The duo had their one year wedding anniversary back in June and both celebrated the occasion on social media. For his post, Nick reflected on their big day. He wrote in part, crew and cameras followed us around for most of the day while we worked, got ready and decided what we would say at the altar. While it's tough getting married under those circumstances, here we are a year later putting in the work to get to know each other and learn how to be partners for one another. All in real time, I'm proud of us. When Access Hollywood chatted with Nick and Danielle back in March, they looked back on their decision to say I do at the altar. It's the, like, the best decision that I've ever made in my entire life. Like, seriously. Yeah. I can't picture like going through life without him, going through what's happened since you know, saying I do without him. And it just like continuously, like overly makes me think like, yes, this was the right decision. And I can't even imagine what it would be like if we said no. Yeah, and same for me, it's, we have so much fun. We have so much of a connection. And, and the crazy thing is like that connection that we built in the pods, which, what is it, 60 people in the whole world understand what it's like to be in a pod talking across to someone that you've never seen. And for its benefits of like, maybe you don't have to look someone in the eye when you say something that's hard to say, and maybe you don't have to feel judged. And all of that's wonderful, but that foundation has given us such a strong foundation that we can just build on it and we can get closer and we can duplicate all of the the things that work for us and we can you know let go of the things that don't and just continue to build that that love and you know living together and you know integrating our friends and family which is just something we spend so much time talking about but is actually like happening and happened in real time so much easier than we ever easier like, than we ever would have yeah. thought they also discussed what it was like watching their experience back on tv it was um it was it was amazing in so many ways it was tough in others like watching our pod experience like it seems like a lifetime ago like to be completely honest and watching that back and and thinking about it um you know they're they're almost like two different things and then like watching it and realizing that like hey we actually we got so close in those pods and it like i said earlier really did give us a foundation and there were some really tough times to watch back on and and say like, man, I wish I would have reacted differently. I wish I would have listened instead of mm. trying to fix. And you know, that that's me, like I'm a fixer, I'm a problem solver. And you know, I, I've, I've learned that there's a lot of men that <laughs> act, act in that way. And, yeah. and you know, there's times where she just wants me to listen. And then there's times where she wants me to advise and just like learn to pay attention to those. Yeah. But like watching it back, it was just kind of like, oh my gosh, like what was I thinking in that scenario or yeah. in other scenarios with, with other people too. Yeah, it's, it's bittersweet, you know, like one, re-watching the reasons that we fell in love with one each other. Like I cried for an hour and a half after watching the pods. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> we no, like so we cried watching it together and I went home and I was still crying because it does remind you about all of the reasons that you fell in love with yeah. each other. And then re-watching some of our arguments, it's like it's hard to rewatch, but it's also beneficial to see like how far we've come how how silly those arguments were and like i wish that we didn't have to like overthink all of the potential downfalls because i think like that's how i am i'm like okay i want to like under promise and over deliver and so i was over communicating the the things that might go wrong and they didn't and so it's like oh they, like you know the fights were based on things that didn't actually happen in reality and so Seeing them was hard, but it also was like, oh my God, we've came so far, so. Yeah. News of Danielle's divorce filing breaks less than a week after her and Nick's Love is Blind co-stars, Ayanna McNeely and Jarrett Jones, announced they were ending their marriage. The pair wrote in part in a joint statement, after much thought, we're saddened to share that we have separated and will begin the process of divorcing. While we have love for each other, our lives are going in different directions, and that's okay. Coming to this decision was far from easy, and we will always wish each other the absolute best.